Hello, here we will discuss about prevalence. As we know, prevalence is one of the important measurements of morbidity. So, the term disease prevalence refers specifically to all current cases like in current cases it may be old or follow up cases and new cases means new patients existing at a given point in a time or over a period of time in a given population so the total number of all individuals who have an attribute or disease at a particular time or during a particular period divided by the population at risk of having the attribute or disease at this point in time or midways through the period. So this is the basic meaning of prevalence. Again, prevalence is two types. First one is known as the point prevalence and second one is the period prevalence. So in upcoming slides, we'll discuss about what is the point prevalence and what is the period prevalence. So point prevalence, we need to understand. So in point prevalence of disease is defined as the number of all current cases means old and new cases of a disease at a one point of time in relation to a defined population. So the point, so what is the meaning of point we need to understand. In point prevalence may for all practical purposes consist of a day or several days or even a few weeks depending upon the time it takes to examine the population sample that means we can calculate point prevalence is equal to number of all current cases that means old and new of a specified disease existing at a given point in time and divided by estimated population at the same point in the time and multiply by 100. So with help of this formula, we can calculate the point prevalence. When the term prevalence rate is used without any further qualification, it, it is taken to mean point prevalence. So point prevalence can be made specific for age, sex, and other relevant factors or attributes. Now we need to understand about period prevalence. What is the meaning of period, period prevalence? So prevalence, as we know, know, prevalence is a common, but when we are talking about point and period, there is basic difference. So a least commonly used measure of prevalence is period prevalence. It measures the frequency of all current cases, as we know for point, old and new cases existing during a defined period of time. So for example, annual prevalence expressed in relation to defined population. It includes cases arising before but extending into or through to the year as well as those cases arising during the year. So period prevalence, we can calculate number of existing cases, old and new, of a specified disease during given period of time interval divided by estimated mean interval population at risk multiply by 100. 
so this is about period prevalence now one important points we need to understand what is the usage of prevalence where we use it so prevalence helps to estimate the magnitude of health disease problem in the community and identify potential high risk population prevalence rates are especially useful for administrative and planning purposes for example hospital beds manpower needs rehabilitation facilities so these are the points so in here in this video we need to understand what is the prevalence what is the point prevalence what is the period prevalence and what are the uses of prevalence we need to understand thank you